All right, so if you clicked on this video, you obviously wanna know some of the best ways to effectively earn VC in this game. Now, maybe you just got the game, or maybe you've had the game for a while now and you just made a new build, or maybe you're also a My Team player and you're looking for ways to earn VC to open up a few packs. Regardless of why you're here, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best and fastest methods to earn VC in NBA 2K20. Now, the only thing I ask of you is to leave a like if I was able to help you out at any point in this video. Now, before we get into the actual ways of earning VC, I want to reiterate that all of these methods are completely free and do not involve spending any real world money. I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory, but I wanted to make sure I put that out there before we got into the video. Also, this is not one of those VC glitch type of videos. All of these methods are legitimate ways to earn VC in the game, so you do not have to worry about getting banned or anything like that. I also wanted to let you know that some of these tips may be more targeted to the newer players, as I know the game has been just released for free with PlayStation Plus. All right, now let's get into the first method method of earning VC in NBA 2K20. Now, a lot of people actually don't know this, but every day you can get a free 500 VC by simply going to your agent's office. Now, I'm sure almost everyone knows where your agent's office is, but for those of you that still don't know, your agent's office is located between the practice facility and your apartment. So as you can see on the screen, here's the agent's office, and I can simply get a free 500 VC every single day just by walking in. Now, you can only do this once a day, so obviously it's not the absolute best method for stacking VC, but all you have to do is literally walk in and out of the agent's office and you get 500 VC for pretty much doing nothing. And on top of that, it's only going to take you around 30 seconds to do. Now, if you combine this with the other methods that I'm going to show you in this video, it'll definitely add up over time. Now, the second VC method I have for you guys is one that a lot of people don't take advantage of, and that's the NBA 2K TV episodes. Now, for those of you that don't know, there's an NBA 2K subreddit where people post the answers for each of these episodes. Now, if you're like me, a lot of times I end up skipping these episodes because the main thing I'm trying to do at that point in time is play my career. But by doing that, you're missing out on so much VC. So let me show you an example. Now, as you can see here, I'm on the official NBA 2K subreddit. Now, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description if you guys want to know how I got to this exact web page. But if you look on the screen, we have the answers for every 2K TV episode. So I'm just going to click on a random episode in this case. Now, as you can see, we have all of the answers for this particular episode and each correct answer will either give you clothing or more often than not VC. So now that I have this pulled up, I'm going to go back to 2K20 and you can pull up 2K TV either from the main menu or from the TV in your mic cord. Now all I'm going to do is go to whichever episode I previously selected and now I'm going to be able to answer every question correctly because I have all of the answers in front of me. Now if you do this with every episode and every question, you're going to get a significant amount of VC and once again, you're not really doing anything because the work has already been done. A lot of people don't take advantage of this, but once again, this is a super simple way to stack up VC. Now, another VC method that people don't take advantage of is the daily bonus. So when you first load into the neighborhood, you get this pop up and a lot of people just exit out of this and hop on a park or hop on a wreck or whatever. But the next time you load into the neighborhood, actually take the time to read what the daily bonus is. So for example, this could be as simple as getting two double doubles or getting a certain amount of assists that day. All you have to do is simply complete that task every day and you'll be able to earn VC. Now there may be a time where you only get to play a game or two on the park and you log off for the day with around four assists, but the daily bonus says you have to get five in order to get that 2000 VC. Knowing that information ahead of time, you most likely would have tried to get another assist before logging off so you can take advantage of that extra 2000 VC. So I definitely encourage you guys to at least look to see what the daily bonus is for that day, even if you don't think you're necessarily going to get it. Now, Another method that a lot of you guys do take advantage of is the daily spin. Now, for some of you new players who might not know where that is, the daily spin is located between the anti up building and the boost stand. So every day you're given a free spin. So the first thing I'm going to do is simply walk inside the building. Now, once you're inside, there should be two different types of wheels. Over here, we have the normal daily spin wheels and over here we have the elite daily spin wheels. Now, as the name suggests, only elites have access to these wheels. So I'm going to go to the normal daily spin wheels. Now here you can win a variety of different prizes from clothing to Gatorade boost all the way down to what's most important to us right now and that's VC. Now here you can earn anywhere from 500 to 2000 VC. You also have the ability to earn 5 hours of double VC. So in those cases, any VC you earn within those 5 hours will be doubled. Now once you hit Superstar 2, you actually have the ability
ability to spin the wheel twice. So if you didn't earn any VC in your first spin, you'll have another chance to spin the wheel. Now, once you hit Elite 1, you'll also be able to gain access to these wheels over here. So these wheels have VC prizes that range from 1,000 to 4,000 VC. Most importantly, there's a little tiny bonus section on this wheel that can also give you a ridiculous amount of VC. Some people have gotten a million VC from landing on this bonus section. Now remember, you can spin the wheel twice once you hit Superstar 2, so make sure you're combining both spins on either the normal or elite wheels to maximize your VC earnings. Alright, so jumping into the next method for effectively earning VC, choosing the correct my career incentives. So while playing my career, either while grinding badges or even if you're just playing for fun, you will get endorsements from different companies. Now one of the benefits these companies offer is the ability to earn VC for completing different in-game tasks. So for example, you may get 2 VC for every point you earn or you may get a certain amount of VC for earning a double double. Now you want to make sure you're choosing the right incentives for your player. So if I'm a sharpshooter, I'm not going to choose the incentives that involves getting a certain amount of rebounds or a certain amount of blocks. I may choose something that involves scoring a certain amount of points or having a certain teammate grade. Now you also don't want to choose an incentive just because it gives you the most VC if you don't think that you're going to be able to complete it. Remember, we want to earn as much VC as possible. So you definitely want to make sure you're choosing the right incentives that not only fit your player and their play style, but also choose incentives that you know you can achieve. Now during this endorsement meeting, you'll also be able to negotiate how much you receive for event appearances. Now 2k is pretty stingy when it comes to event appearances, but but whenever possible, definitely take advantage of these. Most of the time, you'll be grinding badges in my career, and after the game, you'll earn additional VC just for attending one of these events. So once again, definitely make sure you're taking advantage of these opportunities. All right, so another way of earning VC is to play my career games. Now, in order to take advantage of earning the most VC in a timely manner, you wanna make sure you're playing on five minute quarters, and you also wanna make sure you're playing on Hall of Fame difficulty. Now, obviously, this is a personal opinion, but I think Hall of Fame difficulty is actually pretty easy this year, especially if you're on a good team like the Lakers or the Clippers, for example. So by putting the game on Hall of Fame, you're gonna be able to earn more VC since you're playing on a harder difficulty. Now, another route you can take is simply putting the difficulty on Pro and just going absolutely bananas on a CPU. You'll still be able to earn a decent amount of VC if you elect to choose this route as well. Now, in these My Career games, you wanna make sure that you're completing the My Career incentives that we talked about earlier on. So if you're supposed to earn VC for getting a certain teammate grade, make sure you're paying attention to that and you're doing everything you can to work towards that particular teammate grade. You also want to make sure you're completing highlight plays because these are going to get you more fans and the more fans you have, the more endorsement opportunities you will be given. This same mentality applies to post-game interviews and really any other questions you'll get. You want to make sure you're choosing the option that's going to give you more fans as opposed to teammate chemistry because once again, the more fans you have, the more endorsements you'll get, which eventually will lead to more VC. Now, another way you can earn VC is by playing in events. Now, you'll actually be able to earn VC just by participating in some of these events, such as Dime Time and Dunk Fest. This will usually be around 2,500 VC. Now, if you're pretty good at the game and you're able to win some of these events, such as Boot Camp or Gold Rush, you'll be able to select up to 50,000 VC as one of the prizes for winning the event, and that doesn't even include the VC you'll earn just by naturally playing these games. So, if VC is your main priority and you're pretty good at the game, you can try to win some of these events and potentially earn a decent amount of VC as well. Now, speaking of being good at the game, if you have a little bit of VC left over, what you can do is head over to the Ania building and play against other people for VC in the stage. Now, it's definitely not going to be easy to win any of these games, but if that's something that you're interested in, you can definitely give it a try. Now, another method for earning VC quick is actually in the My League game mode. Now, I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there explaining this method in detail, but essentially what you're doing is simming up until the last minute of the game, playing the last minute, and then earning VC for that game. Once again, there's tons of videos out there going over this method in more detail, but this is also pretty good for earning some quick VC. Now, I'm not saying you'll earn a million VC in one day after watching this video, but if you combine all of the different methods I've given you, you'll be in a great position to maximize your VC earnings in this game. So once again, make sure you're using all of the tips I've given to take advantage of these opportunities where you could earn easy VC. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Also, if there's any other really good methods for earning VC that I didn't talk about in this video, please do not hesitate to leave them in the comments as well. Other than that, that's pretty much all I have for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you don't forget to hit that subscribe button
subscribe button and also turn on post notifications to know exactly when the next video is uploaded.